March the 8th, 2019. As you're looking at images starting back on the 5th, coming up until current images today of the Sun through the Solar Dynamics Observatory. This gives us Earth-facing perspectives. It has that dot over the center so that it's like holding your hand up and blocking the Sun so you can see upward. Same thing that uh, dot accomplishes. It's actually called an occulter disk. Notice we're at, on the 7th at the timestamp at the bottom. On the 8th, right there. Today, another coronal mass ejection. Now this one they measured very quickly, it's not Earth facing, but it's an indicator that the new sunspot that's following the one we've been watching is stronger and uh, more powerful. And these, this is the Solar Dynamics Observatory, May the 8th, 2019. Guys, you're looking at current images from the SOHO satellite, an Earth facing uh, perspective. And uh, we're, if you look at your timestamp going from the 4th until the 8th, you'll notice almost every day we've had a explosion on the sun, coronal mass ejection, solar flare. And uh, if you would watch coming up until the 8th, now today you'll see we've had another one. And this is coming from a second sunspot that's following the first. The second sunspot is growing faster, appears to be more powerful. We're going to kind of have snake eyes coming around it, and we'll look at, look at it closer. Also, same uh, angle as far as Earth facing, but a different satellite, Solar Dynamics Observatory. It uses extreme filtration, like a something you, like a welder's mask with different color filters in it, to actually see the sun. And the two sunspots now, guys, are rotating around. The one behind it is a new sunspot and it appears to be larger. We'll look at that closer. Notice in the, you're talking about about a quarter of the Earth-facing surface of the sun is being affected. Look at the dark areas around these sunspots. You've got an activity in the center that's kind of relaying these flashing charges between these two sunspots. And when that happens, it becomes a little more dangerous when you get different magnetic configurations. Notice a darker area. And these explosions across the surface, when that happens, and you're not, you can't see it here, you get what you saw on the satellite before this, these explosions outward. Again, this one by the second satellite is not Earth facing. We're going to look at it on the CME tracker. There's a very mild one that came off of the front sun spot yesterday that will impact us slightly. And uh, we're going to look at both models, one for the one today and one for yesterday. Amazing images. Guys, again, I hate to keep saying this, but it would take 109 of our planets to go just across the circle that you see. So these sunspots could engulf several of our planets, just the sunspot itself. Now what you're dealing with here, again, Solar Dynamics Observatory, notice the different colors. Sunspot 1 in the front we've been watching. Now the new one is larger and it has a different magnetic configuration. And uh, we'll again look at that, but it looks like it's growing faster. It's getting stronger as far as the uh, coronal mass ejections and these releases uh, from the surface of the sun. This is the same satellite, three different images overlaid. It's not moving. It shows you the beauty and the complex, uh, complexity of this magnetic storm that we're watching. Look at this, guys. It's almost like a painting. But uh, sunspot one, sunspot two behind uh, it, and they are growing. Here's what uh, they're classified. 2740, the first sunspot we've been watching is, if you go all the way to the end, it's classified as a B. If you look below it, it means beta or bipolar. It has two different configurations. Now, the sunspot, the new one, 2741, is an alpha or single polarity uh, configuration. Remember the little area between the two? There's, If you look at that again closely, you can see each sunspot arcing between each other. And you, again, you can get up to a beta, gamma, delta. And when you do that, guys, you're definitely in the uh, X-flare situation. Here's the new uh, coronal mass ejection from today. It was a side blast. Earth is the yellow dot. If you look uh, in the right of the circle, the sun's in the center. That's a white dot. Again, Earth, uh, you can look at the colors at the top, guys. You've got the different satellites. They will be square or diamond shaped. The Parker satellite, 
Osiris satellite, Spitzer, Stereo A, Stereo B. The round um, objects are planets, top left. Notice your uh, timestamp there. Also, Earth is yellow, Mars is red, Mercury is brown, Venus is green. And I expect to continue to see these coronal mass ejections flaring off the sun, guys, as they turn more Earth-facing. Don't forget, while supplies last, save $100 on the best water filter in the world. 1.8 cents a gallon for the first 5,000 gallons, then less than a penny per gallon after that. When all water, even uh, water that's nowhere near this clear, is over a dollar a gallon. Think about the savings. Think about how it could save your life. Three days without water, three weeks without food if you have water. We have both survival food and the water filters at bpearthwatch.com. Guys, it helps support our channel. We appreciate it so much. It's a gift you will never regret giving yourself. Heads up, be safe.